Okay, so today I'm going to talk about some everyday carry items, also called EDC items. And everybody has their own favorite set of gear that they like to carry around. Um, these are just a few of the items that I carry. You know, of course, I don't carry everything all the time. It depends on uh, the particular situation that I'm in. But these are some interesting items, that, some of which you might not have seen before. So the first thing I always point out for, for your everyday carry gear is it's a great idea to always keep a cell phone with you. Um, I know most people do, we live on our cell phones, but they're just such great multifunctional devices. You know, they provide a compass and a light and communications and weather uh, alerts and all kinds of things that just a really fantastic uh, multi-purpose device. So a cell phone is certainly an important uh, everyday carry item. Um, another one is a good quality pocket knife. Now this one's by Zero Tolerance, but everybody has their favorite pocket knives. Um, you know, different types of opening mechanisms, different types of materials, quality of the steel, all kinds of things to be considered. Um, I like the ones with the metal handles. Um, even though they're a little more slippery when wet, um, they don't wear on your pocket quite like some that have, um, you know, abrasive material on it. So I've always migrated to like these titanium uh, handles on these pocket knives. But again, everybody has their favorite. This is just one I've carried over the years. Uh, so a pocket knife and a cell phone. And I'll just walk around and look at some of these other items. Um, this one is uh, what's called the unbreakable umbrella. And you might think, well, what is that? Well, it's an umbrella, but it's a really heavy duty umbrella. It's got a steel rod that runs through it that locks in place. And so you can use the umbrella for self-defense. So you basically grab this end of the umbrella and you whip it like a baton where you hit the, hit the other end against the object. Um, and it's really fantastic. It's very, very heavy duty. Um, it's also got like a glass breaker on the other end. So a very heavy duty and not terribly heavy. You could certainly use it, um, but it's wonderful. Like if you're out for a walk and you know, you have trouble with a dog or, or, or even a person who's giving you trouble, at least you have something at your disposal where you could defend yourself. Um, so this is called the unbreakable umbrella. Um, it was actually sent to me. I asked them if they wouldn't mind if I reviewed it. And it's been a long time. I've been very slow in reviewing it. I apologize for that. But um, a gentleman named Thomas Kurz sent this to me and I appreciate it. Um, I didn't know if I'd like it or not, but I love it. I carry it every time I go out for a short walk because I feel like I have a little bit of, of extra function to my umbrella. It also works great as an umbrella, of course, but I love the fact that it's so heavy, heavy duty. All right, the next thing is um, I like having a good multi-tool. Um, I don't carry them every day because they're a little bit heavy, but I do carry it often. Um, so this one is just one particular multi-tool. This one's by... Um, uh, Leatherman and it's a Leatherman charge, but there are lots and lots of other multi-tools you can get. Um, this at Leatherman makes good ones, but I know other companies do as well. So it's a nice tool because if you have a multi-tool, you have lots of things at your disposal at one time from, you know, different types of blades to screwdrivers to, to things that can come in handy when you need them. Um, I find like a, a multi-tool is one of those devices that if you don't carry one, you never think you need it. And then when you do start carrying one, you end up using it all the time. And you're like, how did I ever get along without this thing? Um, not so different than a pocket knife, all right? So uh, uh, something like a Leatherman's a great idea. Um, I always carry a whistle on my keychain. This one is kind of a fancy uh, titanium one, which you can get from Amazon or other places. Um, but you can get any kind of whistle, plastic whistle or whatever, just something nice and loud. And I've carried this, my kids always carry whistles too. It's just a great uh, device that, you know, if you become trapped, or you become lost, a whistle can really help save you. It can let people know where you're at. And of course, if you're in trouble, you can also blow a whistle to draw the attention of other people. So, you know, really simple, never breaks, there's nothing moving in here, um, and it gives you a way of calling for help. So I think a whistle is a great idea. The next thing is an odd item. This is a titanium toothpick. Um, it's not well, necessarily well made or well machined, it's just got a titanium tip here. But there are times I've found when having a really fine point, a really fine metal point um, is handy. And so I like having a little sharp tip like this. You don't use it often, um, but it's a nice little, it's very low cost. You can get like three or four of these things for probably six bucks. Um, so it's just an interesting idea as having some kind of a little titanium toothpick. Now, I don't pick my teeth with it. I just use it as a tool. Um, the next item is some pepper spray. And I really like pepper spray. Um, it's very effective. If you've never been pepper sprayed, I can tell you it is. I always carry Fox Labs pepper spray. Um, now I bought this one, but many years ago they sent me some samples 
of some of their pepper spray and I let my wife spray me in the face, full, full face spray with a cone spray. And I can tell you, um, she still hasn't forgiven me for that because it was agonizing to recover from. It took a couple of hours, I would say. And it felt literally like crushed glass had been put in my eyes. I suffered burns over my face and eyelids. It was, it was heavy duty stuff. Um, this, is, this particular one is the 1.4, um, but they have a number of really highly effective pepper sprays, all right? I like the cone version because I like to really, I don't want to have to aim at stream. I want to be able to just douse a person's face with it. Um, but really a great product. I love their pepper sprays. Um, and there are other good pepper sprays out there too. I just happen to like Fox Labs. So the nice thing about pepper spray is it gives you options. Um, certainly you can carry a firearm and I do carry a firearm. Almost everywhere I carry a firearm. But there are many times when you would be reluctant to pull a firearm and you should be reluctant. Um, maybe you're not in a case where your life is really threatened, but you feel like you might be hurt in some way and you're not sure if it warrants uh, the possibility of deadly force. So I would have no hesitation pulling out my pepper spray and spraying somebody in the face that was a threat as opposed to drawing a handgun on them because that changes the dynamic and there's a lot of legal complications there. So they kind of go hand in hand. There are certainly times when you need a firearm, when you have multiple opponents or an armed opponent, um, drawing a firearm may be your only option. Um, this particular one is a CAR PM9, it's just a small carry firearm. Um, I carry other firearms. Uh, this is my lightest weight firearm that I carry. Um, I don't recommend people carry firearms unless you know how to handle them. If you haven't taken the time to learn to use it safely and effectively, don't carry one. You're a danger to yourself and you're a danger to others. If you are effective with your firearm, then certainly you should carry it. You can help protect yourself and maybe help protect other people as well. Um, so, Again, there's a trade between non-lethal weapons and lethal weapons. Um, I think having the option of either one is important. All right, the next thing I've got is I've got a, uh, a neat little Kydex wallet. Um, this was sent to me by Mark Rodriguez over at rodriguezkydex.com. He makes a bunch of custom Kydex uh, things. This is one of those minimalist wallets where you just put your cards in there and maybe a little money clipped on the back. Um, really nice. They're inexpensive. Um, I love the fact that he makes his own stuff. Um, so he sent this to me as just a sample long, long time ago. And I thought, you know, I'd at least tell him I really appreciated it. You know, very rugged. It was last, probably not last me, honestly. Um, so neat. Go check out some of his products. He's got other things besides wallets too, uh, of different Kydex products. All right. I'll put the link on the, the screen so you can check them out. The next two things are both from a company called TEC Accessories. Now again, I'll put the link on the screen. The first one is a titanium LED light. It's called the Pixel TI Microlite, and it's all titanium, extremely well machined. I'm just amazed at how well machined their products are. Very smooth, um, everything is just like very, just very great quality. And then it's got a really bright uh, light, the LED light that they've built into it. And they have a number of different kinds, um, so, and a lot of different products made out of titanium and other things. So I really like this. I can carry it, super lightweight to put on my keychain. I've always got a bright light if I need it. And the other product they sent me was this titanium pry bar. Now I love having a little pry bar. I don't know why I like it so much. I just find it really useful to always have a piece of steel um, over my hands when I need to do something. Whether I got to scrape something off or whatever the, whatever I need to do, just having a nice piece of steel is, is really handy. Um, again, this one's made out of titanium, so it's super lightweight. Uh, and again, this came from TEC Accessories. So check out their products. Really nice uh, pry bar. Very smooth, very easy to touch and hold. Um, also got, of course, a little keychain just to hold it all together. This is a little titanium one I bought off Amazon, um, but you, of course, any keychain would be fine. And then let's see, next I've got a USB drive. I always keep a USB drive with me um, for two reasons. One is I can keep some important papers on here. Now I keep them encrypted so people can't get the data, um, but, and it also gives me the ability to download information if I come across something on a computer and I need to capture that information quickly, I can do that. I've got some way of storing it. And it comes in super handy um, to have a flash drive with you. Now, don't store all your personal identifiable inf information on it if it's not fully encrypted in a way that people can't get to it. Um, there's always risk to it, even if it's encrypted. But I found that risk is worth it just to always have access to important papers. Um, so I like to have a, a flash drive with me. Um, and then finally, the last thing I've got is... Um, the Survivor Symbols card, which I've talked about in the past. Um, this is a really neat card. I helped develop this uh, a couple years ago. 
And basically it's an RFID protective card. So you put it in your wallet and your credit cards can't be skimmed. Nobody can come in close proximity and read the credit card information. So that's really nice. Um, and there are other cards that will do that. But what I did is I, I developed some symbols, some emergency symbols, um, like doctor and electricity, um, ham radio, police, different kind of symbols that can then be combined with some actions to, to leave messages for people, emergency messages. So, you know, maybe you're out on the road and the car breaks down and you're going to hike somewhere off to safety. You can leave a little message for a loved one that would at least let them know where you've gone. Or, you know, there's a flood that hits your community and you want to leave some kind of a message. But maybe you don't want to write out a full message where everyone knows what's going on, um, but just those that have the ability to sort of decipher this quick little symbol that you've left behind. So it's neat. It's a, you know, it's a symbol coding thing where you have these coded messages that you can leave for others who have these cards. Um, you give one to each of your loved ones. It's a very handy little thing. Again, uh, this is from disasterprepare.com. And once again, I'll put a link for it. All right, so this is just some of the EDC items that I carry. I have other items too. I'd love to hear what other folks carry, especially if you have something kind of neat or unique. Um, put it down in the comments section, maybe put a link to it so people can check it out. Um, everybody's got their own set of things that they carry under different circumstances. Um, but these, hopefully some of these items are kind of interesting to you. Uh, maybe get you to go check out some of these products online.